Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, it has been highly requested that I do a review of the Upper Baby Cruise Stroller and also the Upper Baby Mesa car seat. Um, I wanted to wait to do this review because I've had this, like this combination for the past 16 months. So ever since Annabelle was born, my firstborn, and I wasn't sure about strollers. I didn't know much as a first time mom. So I really went into the stroller buying process with open eyes and I got a lot of recommendations to get this particular set at the time. And even now up a baby is very pricey, at least it is in my opinion. So I was very hesitant to spend like upwards near a thousand dollars for like all of this equipment for my firstborn. Um, so yeah, I wanted to share with you guys the pros and cons of getting something that is a little bit nicer as far as a stroller and then also an infant car seat. Um, share with you guys what I like about the cruise, if I think you guys should get it for your firstborn, and also some cons. So yeah, let's go ahead and start with the stroller. Okay, so the first really big pro for me is the fact that um, the Upper Baby Cruise stroller is modular. So basically, you press these two little tabs and you can make it forward facing, it comes off super easy. And then you can also make the seat face you. And we did actually have her face us for like, I think from six to 10 months. I don't know, we're just first time parents. So we always like to see her face and if she was okay, especially if the sun is like super in their face. But another thing that we really like about this stroller is the fact that it has like an extra big sun visor. Um, and we actually, I didn't even know this was here when I bought the stroller, but this is what Up a Baby is known for. It has like a giant visor. So your child will not be facing the sun directly, which I like. There's never been a time where her face is like blinded by sun while sitting in this stroller. Um, so yeah, I love that. And then it just tucks back. It also has a mesh netting in the back um, with a magnetic closure. So if you want to look at your baby, you can also roll it up right here and then secure it with this little tie, which we usually have open. I also love the giant storage space underneath. I find that it holds groceries or my diaper bag really nicely. Um, and it has like pockets for bottles or water, anything like that. So I found that that has held up really well. And then another thing that is really great for taller people or like if your husband is super tall, but you're really short, um, is this little bar right here. It comes all the way up, but you can like adjust it to different heights. Um, I'm short, I'm like 5'4", so I like to put it on the lowest one and then my husband puts it on the highest one. And it also has a foot lock on the bottom, which is really handy. You just click it up with your foot um, and then it like rolls obviously and then you push it down for it to lock. And another thing that I really like is this little bar. I have seen that on a lot of other strollers, they come with trays, which I think would be handy for like snacks and if the baby could put their drink there or something or their bottle. But this one is great. It's a little bit more minimalistic and then it also has like a little magnetic closure. Um, so you can open it from either side and a lot of parents actually like to put little toys on here like if it's a really like a smaller baby and not a toddler they put like little teething toys on here which we've never done but people like that and then this little footrest actually goes up and down so you just press these little buttons right here and you can have it up if they're sleeping another thing that people or parents really like about this stroller is that the recline goes super far back so it kind of acts like a bassinet we never use it like this because obviously they don't actually recommend your baby to like lay like this. But if Annabelle is asleep in her stroller, we'll lay it quite far back. That is nice that they're not slouched over in the stroller with their head on their chest. We also really like the harness. As you can tell, we have worn this stroller pretty like pretty well because there's like stains of sunscreen and stuff we've taken this everywhere i have found that the harness is a little loose like our baby is 25 pounds and she's 16 months and even now with her being in the stroller as like a smaller toddler i have found that we have to tighten it all the way and it's still super loose on her so that is a negative for me um but not so much as to like where i wouldn't buy the stroller again so the one thing i do have to say is a really big I wouldn't say it's a negative but it's something you definitely have to consider especially as a first-time mom because when I was choosing a stroller I was going in between the Upa Baby Cruise and the Upa Baby Vista which is the more expensive model and it's just the more versatile model I ended up choosing the Cruise because I believe it was around $400 cheaper than the Vista at the time however the Vista can seat two children so the Vista you can actually put a bassinet in there and um, like a regular stroller seat. It's bigger, it has more room with it. 
Um, and I ended up choosing the cruise just because I wasn't sure about when I'd have my second baby. And at the time, 400 plus dollars was a lot of money to me to upgrade. So I ended up going with the cruise model because I just did not think I'd have two babies close in age and I'm pregnant again. So I wish I would have spent the money and got the Vista, um, but hindsight, you never know what is gonna happen when you're a first time mom. So we really love this stroller and the number one reason we like it is because it's so easy to break down. So you just take this off and see these little like bars right here you literally pull them up and it like breaks all the way down so yeah that is so easy especially for me as like a smaller mom to like put in her car it's very lightweight um, so it's not heavy or bulky and then to release it you just pop this little tab on the side shake it open and it's open. So the other product I wanted to talk about is the Uppa Baby Mesa car seat. So this is last year's model along with the cruise, so 2017. I don't think they've changed a lot. I actually looked up the cruise and the only difference is the fabric. You can get like leather handle and it's exactly the same. It's just the fabric is different. Uh, but this is the Mesa and we liked it because it did come, it didn't come with this stroller. Like you had to um, buy them separately, but you didn't have to buy an adapter or anything like that to put it on the stroller. So it becomes like a travel system. And I believe we used the Mesa up until our baby was, I think, nine months old. Um, so we used it a lot. So a few reasons why we really liked this one is that it was super light. I actually went to, I think, Babies R Us to buy this and they put like a heavy 10 pound like fake baby in it and i tried all of the infant car seats and this one was by far like the lightest for me to pick up you don't think about that when you're pregnant with your first baby but when you have a baby that is like 17 pounds or something and you're carrying that big baby in a car seat um, it gets super heavy especially if you have stairs like up to your apartment like i did so yeah, I really wanted to make sure that it was gonna be hassle-free because I carried her a lot in this, in the stores, Target, shopping. We went everywhere with this. And honestly, it still looks pretty brand new and we beat this thing, I swear. So I love the look of this particular infant seat because in my opinion, it's very chic. Um, it's not like, it doesn't scream baby, which if you're into that, that's fine. But I honestly wanted to get like a black one because I didn't know if I would have a boy next and I like to reuse everything. We also loved how plush it was. It looked like your baby was like laying on a cloud. I mean, I wouldn't know because I can't get inside of it, but it looks super comfy. I also like the fact that the handlebar comes up um, locks into place and then it's super easy to put down. We also love the canopy because it folds down really easily and then you can fold it up. It's also made of what I think is like a nylon material. It's very stretchy. Um, we've been in the rain with this and nothing's happened to the canopy. It looks brand new. We also like this stroller because you don't consider how big your baby is gonna be. And then you have to pick up the stroller with a sleeping baby and it hurts your arms or your back. So this stroller actually has a button on top that you just press and then it lifts it right out. You don't have to like bend over the stroller and then unlatch something from the side so yeah that is super easy and then it does come with a base but that's in our garage and it's super easy to install in your car um, and if you want to take it out of your car you just press like this little button on the back and then lift it out so we really ended up liking this particular travel system so the Mesa um, and then the cruise however obviously I do wish that I got the up a baby Vista because I didn't know I'd be having two kids two years apart um, so yeah, that kind of sucks, but maybe I'll sell this one and get the Vista because I do really love the Uppa Baby. So I didn't mention anything about the wheels, but they're not jogging stroller wheels or anything like that. They're definitely meant for like walks around your neighborhood. We have taken this in mud before on accident and it was not great to get out of. So you definitely need your own jogging stroller if you're looking to like run with your baby because it is dangerous even if you jog at like a really light pace because if this thing hits like a bump or something, it's gonna fly. So yeah, it's definitely just meant for like the streets, which is really what I was doing the first year Annabelle was alive anyways. We also just wanted to do a little plug at the end for our five-in-one multi-use covers that we sell on Amazon through our brand. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use our covers, but this is the way that we want to show you guys today. So we actually used ours for a car seat cover and we're gonna be doing that with our next baby. So you basically just put it over like the little handlebar right here. Um, and then you tuck it in the front. It's available on Amazon and it also is available through Prime shipping. So if you have Prime, you can get it in two days. And then this one is called the Juliet cover. It's more of like a bold print. 
and then you stretch it over like that. But you can also use them as a nursing high chair or shopping cart cover. And then you just throw them in the washer. And we're just about to launch our new gender neutral pattern. It has little stars on it. So stay tuned for that. It will launch at the end of the month. So that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.